week one, you were the standout favorite. It's very difficult to do to go through the whole season and come out on top. I mean, congratulations, guys. How, how, did, how does it feel that it's officially over and you're holding it in your hands? It's really surreal, to be honest. I feel like we both put so much work and so much love into this whole season and, and into every dance that we did, and we both really put everything that we had on the floor and to be able to be validated for that feels amazing. We see, you know, obviously the physical journey, the, the dancing, but talk about the emotional journey from the beginning of this season to the end, because it seemed like it was a very emotional season. It definitely was. I feel like I'm a completely different person than when I started, and I know that I'm a better person for all of this, and I'm just, I'm happy to be here. I'm so happy that I took this journey and that I got to go on it with him and that we get to stand here together and, and hold this. You said many times that this was, you know, the most incredible experience of your life. What is it about Dancing with the Stars that makes it such, a, you know, a powerful experience? I don't think that there's any other scenario really in the world that's like this, where you're put into a situation where you are, are dancing with someone who's been doing it their entire lives, and every week you're put in a, a crazy scenario, but you have to step up, and I think it really shows and reveals what kind of person you are. You, it's, it's the honesty that you have about being behind the camera and the rehearsals and all of it. It's just, you have to really be ready to lay yourself on the floor. Where are you gonna keep the mirror ball trophies? By my bed. Yeah. What's that? By my bed. By your bed? For a Probably. While. You think you're gonna have to like, you know, fight your parents off? They're gonna wanna try and like uh, take it from you? I doubt it. No, no.